the same as school. Coach, just your thoughts, hard fall when you guys made some big plays late. Well, we made some dumb plays late, I can tell you that. Uh, Get challenging them one on one in an open court when we have a lead, you got to take better care of the basketball, not force them. Joel took a bad shot, Keith took a bad shot, Cam took a bad shot. Uh, uh, Sterling caught the ball after a good shot, shot it backwards over his head as he's falling out, flying out of bounds. Uh, Theo turned it over, Theo missed a pretty good shot, but uh, you can't do those kind of things because you're playing the other team and you're playing the score, the clock. And we didn't do a very good job there, but uh, other than that, uh, we did some really good things. We shot the ball well in the first half, didn't shoot it as well in the second half. Uh, I like the fact that we played against their zone and even their full court press and only had, uh, I think, eight turnovers the whole game, so I like that. But uh, Joel made a good steal and a basket and then made two free throws. Did I talk you into that timeout with 220 left? No, it was a long, long time ago because I'm looking over there and a the guy wanting the game is sitting on the sideline. That was the only reason to take the timeout is I wanted to get Luke back in the game. And uh, uh, so I took it in just to get Luke back in. I thought Sterling it might be a little nervous for him at that point in that kind of game. Coach, you had control of the game pretty much throughout. Uh, what does that say about the way your team is playing, I guess? Well, we played well, yes. I don't know that we had control of the game because they, they kept making threes and driving us to the basket. We never could stop them, so I never felt good defensively. Uh, but uh, uh, we did some very good things early, and they made a run, and we took it back. I think they got it to like two at one time. We took it back to ten, and I decided I was going to quit looking at the score because I didn't look at the score the whole first half. I should have stayed like that. But uh, we made we answered some runs pretty good too. What did you like that Sterling gave you off the bench? I made some baskets in there. I jumped on him at one time because he didn't challenge the shot. The guy drove straight down the lane and he let him make a little floater. And the next time down, he got a partial block on the thing. So he listened and got something involved in. But 12 points for him and uh, uh, came a big offensive rebound. He just said, have to shoot the circle back over your head when you're falling backwards. Joel didn't make the three after the timeout, but he you know, had the steal and the layup. And you know, the free and we, we, I called a play thinking that Joel would end up getting an open three at the top of the key, and I just thought he'd make the sucker, and he didn't make it. But uh, So when he got the free throws, I said, you missed the three. How about making the free throws? Let's get out of town. He gave you a game? career high, 23 points, but also seemed to be very effective working out in the high post. Well, against them, we've always tried to get the ball right inside the foul line, and sometimes we make good decisions, and Theo made a bunch of good ones for us tonight. Ann was taking the ball to the basket, and he went up to shoot two threes, and the crowd didn't go... <sighs> And so he made them, so he, he likes to shoot threes better on the road, I guess. Six in a row now, Coach, uh, you know, after the free game skid. Your team getting it together? Well, we, no we played pretty well and uh, uh, been making shots. It's been, been the biggest thing we've been doing. And uh, still not as good defensively as I want to be. They shot 50% in the second half defensively. I think they scored like nine or ten straight possessions to start the half. Coach, how have you been so effective against this zone over the last six games that you played them? Uh, I, I have a tough time remembering our last game, much less Syracuse three or four years ago. But uh, uh, we've got good shooters, and we have the big guys who can pass. And if you have that, that helps you play against his own defense. Can you give us some time off again? Yeah. Got to, yeah. More than we'll one probably, day? Uh, we'll come and watch some clips probably tomorrow, and they may give them two days off because I think they reacted very well that last week. How impressed were you with what Tyus Battle was able to do? Uh, battle. 11, 23, 25, that's what we all talked about, and they were all great. Uh, uh, Reset, the freshman, was really good. Howard was good, but uh, Tyus was a man possessed in the second half. Uh, he didn't give them in the first half what he normally does, but the second half, he was fantastic. Take two more, please. Uh, boy, that's the best interior passing we've probably seen against their zone this year. Is the interior passing any different facing the zone versus man-to-man? -man? Oh, yeah, very much so. Okay. We, a couple of years ago, the last time we were here, Bryce Johnson had seven or eight assists, the most assists he's ever had in the game, throwing it down to Isaiah, Isaiah Duncan. So we showed him some clips of that, showed him some clips of when we've been successful against his own, but we practiced it, and they took it out of the court and did it. Thanks, guys.